of their words from vestments where I hide hidden disguised like listening like disguised Paris is cold because Paris mourns. He was just a soldier. He was a fine-looking man. Killed by a Polak. She was not a Polak. Well, an Oriental. You, woman, are in need of your powder. She was a Romany, a gypsy. And today she will be tried. Killing one of our own. A fine-looking man. I think you're not in need of powder, but you've taken too much. <laughs> See how you froth at the mouth at me in mention of a man. <laughs> Then I climb, climb. Morning bells are favourite now. Before Paris awake, shadows make business. Mist, fog. Best now. Disguise. Paris. Disguise. Serpent. Disguise. Then I ring. Ring. Begin ring. Start with my ring. There is nothing good about a day when one is roused early and prevented from one's rest and nourishment. but I must ready you for trial. And this day will be a trial, officer. Of that, there is no doubt. And then, stop! Bells, stop! Mind cold. I realise my reading from faces in the street. A murder trial. Murder me. I am to be stuck here all day. I know it. The murder of a captain. Captain Phoebus de Chateaubois. A pretty name. Did he die valiantly? The accused is a young gypsy girl. He did not. Shall I bring the accused in, your lordship? I said I was not to be disturbed. I, me, father. If I am contemplating silence, it makes no difference to the instruction, I must not be disturbed. Yes. Today, gypsy girl, trial. Who? What? One I steal for you tried. She gave me water and stocks. I read lips. Broken women old talk of trial. Romany today. I misunderstand. No, you understood correctly. She killed an officer in the King's Guard. It is a serious crime. 
She is good. Could not kill her. Good. And what would you like me to do about this information, Quasimodo, her intrinsic goodness? Is there someone for me to inform of this? I... I... I don't know. No. You don't, do you? Tomorrow, I bury the man she killed. I have a sermon to prepare. I'd rather you leave me be. Yes, Father. Read out the charges. <clears throat> Esmeralda, on the night of the 27th of January, you did knowingly prostitute yourself to and then murder Captain Felix. There is a fly in my courtroom. A fly in February. I've never heard such nonsense. Does she attract... Do you attract flies, mademoiselle? No. Good. Are we going to present evidence? <clears throat> she was found with a murder weapon and corpse, your lordship. Was she? Oh, my dear, that's damning evidence. May I speak? If you must. I loved him. Loved Phoebus. I could not hurt him. I would not hurt him. He was my flame, my, my... This girl talks prettily. It was another man. He was hiding. He came out of the closet and stabbed Phoebus. And he climbed out of the window and ran away. Pretty nonsense, but pretty all the same. She had his blood all over her. I am not guilty of this crime. I could not be. I have harmed nothing. I am not guilty. Of course not, my dear. It was the man hiding in the wardrobe with the kitchen spoon. <laughs> guilty. She is guilty. No. 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 La Esmeralda, you will be hung by the rope until dead. You are men. You are wrong. I am not a murderer. I am not. Take her to the cells. I have no time for this. You will die with my blood on your hands. What are you doing, Gwilym? <laughs> I'm holding my breath, George. Well, I can see that, but why? To see how long I can hold my breath for. How long? About a minute and ten. I wager you I can hold my breath longer. Wager me what? Fortnight's latrine duty. You are on. Are you set? I am. Three, two, one. <laughs> What are you two doing? <sighs> sir, hold in breath, sir. Sir, nothing, sir. I should know not to ask. The prisoner is ready to be escorted to the gallows. Sir. sir. So, does, does that make it a tie, or what? Requiem eternam dona eis, domine. Et lux perpetua luceat eis. My name is Lieutenant Mikhail Leduc. I am here to tell you of a brave soldier and captain. I fought with Phoebus, sat with him. He was a great friend and a great fighter. His loss, for which we are gathered here today, is not just for his friends, his fellow soldiers, his betrothed, but it is also a loss for Paris, for France. I to take you to the gallows. Have you a powder? A pill? A sword? I do not wish to be made a spectacle in the square. It is time. And I would... It is a job to escort you to the place where you'll be hanged, madam. It is more than our lives are worth to do different. Then you are limp indeed, you two, are you not? Requiem eternam, donna e domine. Et lux perpetua... Luceat e requiescat in pace. Amen. Amen. Paris. Alive. Like less. Square. Full of waiting for execution. 
I see one child dressed in orange. His father carries him shoulder back. He looks as if Paris was beauty. It is not. They were blood. I am afraid for them. Clothing. You refuse my request. Do not pity me now. As you prefer. Murderer! Murderer of the finest one. How dare you? How... Oh. Don't spit. Gentlemen, don't. If you are not there, soon, we will use our muskets. Up looks child. Up and up. He sees me. And then Esmeralda is dragged through the square by rough soldiers. Esmeralda, my. I watch. I wait. This crowd is unbearable. I'm tying the noose tight here. To your death will be as painless as possible. I make my play fast. Sin fast. This rope is not easy to work with. Your hands are shaking, that's why. My hand. Steady. Stone. Cold. Rough. Hands bleed. Crooked skin. Two men round her. Tying her badly. I. Crowd of screams! So loud I can hear screams! A crab! She tries to resist! No! 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 Throw her over my arm! And climb! You're away! She's out! The rough walls of cathedral provide holes where I need holes. I go up and up and... Where do you think you'll take her? I never trusted that man. It's his face. A crooked body breeds a crooked mind. I reach balcony. Look at the crowd and say, Sanctuary! 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 Faces stunned. Sanctuary! Sanctuary! Stunned. I feel power. The clan inside church and gone. George, are you okay? My nose is bleeding, but that's nothing compared to what's going to happen when the sergeant finds out. He came from nowhere. Like a bat. I put it down. Careful. Her face. Her Face flushed, mouth mute, body soft, she is faint away. My hands not gentle enough, she wakes. I, I keep me in shadows, don't want face. Frighten her. What is this place? The cathedral. Why am I here? What is this screwed hell? I look on her lips. 
try read them. Her lips say, what's, what says she? I am to be your prisoner now. Have I understood correct? What will you have me do? Answer me. Can't you understand me? She is angry. This will not do. You stand in the shadows, you speak not. I would rather hang than be kept whore. I will throw myself. I will throw myself from this window. I will not be your prisoner. She tries to uh. climb window. Four. Why would she try to... No. Uh. No. No, no. Do not take me against my will, sir, for you will regret it. I'm a Romany. I bear curses. Uh. Stay. <laughs> Stay. You do speak. Stay still. And I can see your face. It is well, the man in the stocks. Have I remembered correctly? I, I fright you. Why am I here? Do you understand me? I need to know why I'm here. I cannot understand. You speak. Quick! I am deaf. Oh. She, she moves her face. So opposite my face. She moves her lips. Slow. So I understand. Why am I here? They want to kill you. I did not want that. You save me. Yes. Thank you. She looks me into in too much. Too much. Her eyes soft. I I need to. I, I will return. Yes, you are. Yeah, you knew Captain Phoebus. Yeah, I fought with oh, him. Yeah, the Duke, man. Fifth Infantry. Christoph, third. I can always tell an army man. I never yes. trusted that bell ring. Absolutely, yes. sir. Crooked body breeze, crooked mind. Mm. My mother always told me that. <laughs> <laughs> My mother always told me never to trust a woman who uses a handkerchief. But a church <laughs> hiding him and her is disgusting. Yeah, then let us do something about it. Yeah. I lost a friend and the church is hiding his murderer. Is that and on my life, that gypsy will be hung. Yeah, she will. Yeah, she will. Yeah, the marble of kings, saints, bishops, monsters, demons. Do not scare me. The saints are friends. Bless me. Monsters guard me. He real himself. Scuttles through. Is he here? Where's he taken her? I move forward to speak farther, but don't. You don't see me. There are crowds of angry people outside the cathedral. I know there are crowds. I just came through them. Where is he? No one's seen him. Well, if he's inside the cathedral, then find him. Find her. And let us contain this madness. Yes, Archdeacon. But first, bolt the door. These people shall not pass. Sanctuary's been declared. The people will not offend the church. Yet if they do, I'd rather have a bolted door to protect me. He stands a moment, sniffing air. Does not see me. I crawl on knees until I find what I'm seeking and return. I put package at feet of her. I retreat. She looks me, looks me. She has not flinched from my face, from my, my face, yet. She unwraps the cloak. Scared of it. These are. This is clothing for me. Yes. She, she looks at the body she has. 
she colors. The prison rags do not contain her. She unwraps the cloak. I have food. I bring food. Why would you? Why have you done this? Outside. Not safe. They would kill you. I want to know why you've done this. You are good, kind. You gave me water. You saved my life because I gave you water. I sleep here. If they come, I wake first. Paris is on its knees. They say 2,000 slept in the square last night. The deceased was clearly a popular man. Ask them about the Batman, they'll tell you. Ooh. He hit me, Sarge. As well he might. Listen, men, your negligence has bred your saving. We need all the soldiers we can get. Control these imbeciles. Thank you, sir. We won't let you down this time. You're both to be busted to street crew, assigned to the square. Keep it under control. We'll do our best, sir. You will do better than that. <laughs> I watch you sleep. I th thought it not harm you to have me watch. My face frightened you. You woke, saw my face. You forgot my face. Do not frighten me. I was dreaming of Phoebus's death. I have no breakfast for you. I'm not hungry. But I have present. <laughs> Two presents. But you only keep one. <laughs> Is this a game? And I show her flowers. Two pots, one beautiful vase. Dead and dying flowers. Other plain Ugly vase with beautiful flowers. She looks at them and me. I'm just a dancer, but I understand your game. No. I know who he was, what he was. I know he was a pretty vase and underneath was, but I loved him all the same. Which isn't to say I couldn't love a plain vase. I just don't. Yes. Do you know much about women, Cosimodo? No. <laughs> Nor do I. Nor men neither. People are strange to me. They don't make sense. I dance for money. I entertain them. But I don't understand them. The... Cathedral not big enough to hide you. They will find us. Today, I go to my father. Is he a good man? Yes. Then all will be well. Yes. And I pick up beautiful flowers in plain part and leave her be. I'm watching the people outside. Have you seen them? Yes. Do you think they all knew and loved Captain Phoebus? I suspect not. Yet they all spent the night out on the street. Yet they are all angry. Why? Well, the same reason any crowd gets angry. Entertainment denied. Righteous indignation pricked. You prevented them an execution. She killed an officer of the king. May I ask why you denied them? I did not want her to die. As always, 
The simplicity of your responses is your greatest strength. Take me to her. Yes, but... But? But this time, I did not catch her, her for you. I saved her for her. We could not find you last night. No. Were you hiding from me? Do you trust me? Yes, you are my father. He turns, looks me closely, like a fly and spike. Then take me to her. It's been days. These people are still here. They came for an execution. They'll wait until they get one. It's the Duke that's leading them. With a tankard in his hand. Mm, I like the look of that, the Duke. But he's only a lieutenant, not like my Captain Phoebus. She is not looking. She stands with back, her body black against the window. You must be the gypsy girl. She turns. Her face drops. His eyes fire. You. You. You recognize me? I don't believe we've met. I'm the archdeacon of this cathedral, and as such, your protector. Quasimodo, this, this, this is a man. This I am Quasimodo's father. He is aware who I am. I should rip your eyes from their socket. I move quick. Catch her before she attacks. My father looks her, then me. This? This is who you'd have me protect? He is the one! He killed my famous Quasimodo, you must believe me. You are mistaking me for another oh, gypsy. Oh, I know who you are. I know what you are. I should throw you to the wall. I would gladly go if I could pull you down with me. You whore! <laughs> no! No! <laughs> you must not! No! No! Lock her away, Quasimodo. If she squeals, then break her and leave her to the rats. She is crying. I... I... That is your father. How great. I owe him myself. My life. Then yours is a cheap life. That man is the devil's whore. No. <laughs> He killed Phoebus and would have let me hang for it. No! Yes! He is and he did. Now will you please leave me be? George, Guillaume, you are policing this rabble, no? Yes, sir. And I think we both want the same thing. An end to this nonsense and a dead gypsy girl. Am I wrong? No, sir. So why don't you use your powers to get us inside and get that girl? Talk to your superiors, bring an end to this stupidity. We are just here to keep order, sir. We have no powers. But... I'm it... sorry, sir. We can't help you. We will get her. Do you understand this? We will get her. Good day, gentlemen. What a charming man. When he touched my shoulder. I felt darkness pass through me. You don't think... They won't storm the cathedral, will they? We have neither the manpower nor the... It's simple. If they do, we will let them. Archdeacon, I have a message from the Lord Bishop. I'd heard you'd made it through the crowd. I'm quite impressed. Was quite a crowd. What does the Lord Bishop want? He had prophesied by you, I believe. The numbers on the square would decrease with time. We underestimated their fury. All for this girl? Yes, the gypsy, a sinful creature without a friend in the world. Spare for my bell ringer. The bishop has sent word that he is concerned. As well he might be. This was a commissioned officer she was tried for. I am aware of that. I don't like your tone. A decorated captain? Well, a liar, a drunk and a gambler. He is a sad loss. The bishop wants this matter resolved. The Lord Bishop asks whether you will find an answer, Archdeacon. 
What answer shall I give him? I was a great man. Oh, you. I was happy, pure. My soul was filled with light. Priests consulted me on chastity, doctors on... Cosimodo! Cosimodo, are you there? Ah! Listen, woman, do not interrupt me. I will oh, be Do not hit me. Church. I will not be hit by you. Ah! No! No! There! A belt in your mouth! You are quiet! You must listen! I was a scientist, but still a man. More than once, my flesh was thrilled as a form passed by, but fasting, prayer, study, the macerations of the cloister again made the spirit ruler of the body. I shunned women by force of will. And then, one day, I was leaning on the window of my cell. I heard the sound of a tambourine. I glanced to the square. What I saw there... A creature was dancing, a creature so beautiful. God would have preferred her to the Virgin. <laughs> her eyes black and lustrous, hair raven, her face, her body. I was no longer my own master. Misery! What misery? How to stop that descent into hell? I... I I learned all I could of you. I, I studied you in a, a gypsy. How could I doubt the witchcraft? <laughs> oh, girl, have pity on me. You think you're unhappy? You've no idea what misery is! To love a woman? To love her with your soul and to know that with that love comes damnation. The torture, the torture is now. I cannot. I must have you. Do you understand that? I must have you. <laughs> no, shush, shush, shush. I'm going to strip you now. <laughs> and then this sickness. Will... No! No! Quasimodo! No! How long have you. She been... is good! She has bewitched me. I, I, I need this for a cure. She's made me weak. I don't. I can't, I must. If you must, then kill me first. What? I cannot see you hurt her. Love her. This is... You're... You're absurd. How dare you threaten me with your own life? I am ready to die. You he turns, looks her, her mouth, eyes wet with sweat, tears. Madam, you will see me again. He looks back at me, red, angry. In this room, I left on cathedral steps. Church took children not wanted. 
found Holmes. When father found me, which crowd over me, poking, laughing. No one would have me. I would have no home. So father took me. Took books. Me numbers. Gave me bells. They would have put me in bag. It dropped in the sail. He gave life to me. And that's... I will not hurt him for you. You just keep him away. She looks at me a moment. Tears on her face. And then nods. Gently. Do not buy me as I've removed the skag. We will not stay here in case demon returns to him. Do not ask me to leave you alone again. I will not do that. You love me? Yes. Then I will follow you wherever you want to go. You are the Duke? Who needs to know? It is no matter who I am. I have something for you. This is a gift. Well, some cloth. Fine embroidery. Thank you, old man, but a blanket keeps me warm enough. This is not some cloth. This is the blessed sacrament of Notre Dame Cathedral. Do you understand what that means? No. The cathedral is no longer a place of sanctuary if the sacrament is removed. The sacrament has been removed. I give it to you. Yes. With it, you can invade the cathedral without fear of reprisal. Oh. I know who you are. You conducted my friend's funeral. You are Archdeacon Frollo. Why would you... He's gone. Christoph! Christoph! Leduc. Assemble a group of the lowest deviants you can find. I have a cloth, a cloth that will prove better than a key. We hide here. These are beautiful. I have names for them. They are three. <laughs> I hoped they would be. They are Josette, Edith, Mary, Mary, my favourite. There are fifteen. Mary, only when I hear. She made me deaf. But I love her. You do love them. I can hear it. I know not people. The names. I'm not calling you stupid. Just admiring your love. Marie is very fine. This engraving. <gasps> what is that noise? Check what it is. Check. Come back quickly. I ask you not to ask me to leave. This is for safety. This is for me. I need to know who's making such noise. Oh. One more time, you savage thieves! One more time, and then the cat will have its prey! Take all the gold to Cloisters. Lock yourself inside. They're coming for the girl, Archdeacon! Take the gold! Get to Cloisters! Now! Now! You do, George. You said nothing, Willem. We agreed nothing. I liked that girl. I hated that man. We can't just let him kill her. We were gonna kill her. George, I am a useless jailer. 
I'm an even worse soldier, and I can't even hold my breath for very long. I'd like to be a good man. Will you be a good man with me? Whatever you think, William, whatever you think. As the door cracks, I see them splitting the oak, charging into my home. Search for them. Search everywhere. Search high, search wide. I do, and then... Why, tis the bell ringer! You spent two nights in the coal closet, you... What do we do now? We look for it, George. We try and find them before they do. This feels like a war zone. Look for the girl, George. Your people are ruining my church. They are people. They aren't mine. These are sacred objects. Sooner we find her, sooner this is over. Look, try the bell tower. There are many rooms. He is trying to hide her from me, too. Thank you, Archdeacon. One man has my legs. Another my shoulders. Ah! Another pokes my ribs. Oh! They're all over me. All around me. But I do not submit. Ah! They... Oh! Then I see my father talking to talking to a man in his uniform. And I know what he's done. And I watch him extreme towards the spire of the cathedral where he can be safe. As I weaken, so they overpower. Cosimodo, are you? You are gone. I am alone. Phoebus, I am alone. I think they come. Oh. Yes. You will not take me! Take her arm. Control her arms! I am not to be taken! Cosimodo! Cosimodo! Beaver! Smash him! Smash him like the beast he is! I'm tied up! I feel like a child again. On my father's Unable to wriggle, oh. wriggle away. They are whipping me. They are holding me. There, George. There she is. I s see her. Took them from the stairs. She has bruises on her face. They have beaten her. They've got her. Good, you found her. We'll tie the rope over that beam. Fetch me one of those kneeling stools. Release her. Release her this instant. We are soldiers. Soldiers? <laughs> You're barely men. Kill them. No. Get her. George. George. Oh. Quill Whatever you think I have done, I have not. You have a pretty face for a murderer. Fetch me the stool. Fetch me that stool. Sir. Am I to die here? Yeah. Very well. And she is saying, singing, her lips moving. And I tried to pushed towards her and try and push I feel ropes loosen and they are loose and I'm throwing people out the way moving fast towards her Oh. 
but they have the rope around her neck. They have a rope around her neck. And then I hear her. And then I can hear her like that no one else in the room. And I'm trying to get through to her, pushing people off. But there isn't time. She looks at me. She looks at me in the light moments before they kick the stool from under her. She looks at me and, and she and she Is she dead? Yes, Lieutenant. They cut down her body and dispose of it. I need out of this. I reach him as he starts for the exit. I smash his head against the... He moves no more than with blood in my hands. I pick Esmeralda. But she knows she stopped me. He is st standing with his back to me. He turns around slowly. I lay her body on the ground before him like he sacrificed her. You have brought her here. What will you do with a body up here? I came where I thought you'd be. How is our church? Broken. Yes. It was you! All of it! I am your father, Quasimodo. Whatever you think I'm... Whatever I have done, I... Could I... throw you from this roof! Yes, you could. I could! What kind of man threatens his own father? The one that you made! No, no, I made a good man. Whatever else, I made you good. I lift him and pin him against the parapet. He can feel the air. Air of outside on skin. His skin. Air of world that is so far below. Uh, no. No. You need me, Quasimodo. You can't do this, this to me. This is good. I am good. I took you in when no one else would. Now put me down. Put me down right now. You see Paris? All of Paris. Thou shalt not kill. You broke that first. Why? Why were you weak? I don't know. I wish I hadn't been but causing murder. I lift him with the side of the cathedral. I have wept. I hopes. I do not care. I do love you. No. You are my son. No. Yes. I'm not saying this to save my life. You are mine. I didn't expect to love you, but I do. I made you my son. Father! Father, 
into sin. Please don't. He reaches up hand, taking it from Tom where he had cling to. Knowing he is in my power now, he touches my face softly. And the father touches the face of his son. He says nothing. His grey eyes. I let him go. Yes. And he is gone. I sip with her, her body for a day. A night, another day, then in darkness I carry her th through Paris, I carry, no one sees me, and I dig. Lay her into a grave beside a tree. No one sees. And then I now I am here. And it is me, and it is you, and I'm tired now, and you are dead. Oh. And Paris is so quiet, and I have left the walls of my home. Because it's not my home. I will make here my home. Here with you. I am 22 years old. I have lived no life. All the life I had was with you. So... I will sleep now, beside you, over you, you will not come to harm me any longer, you will not, because I won't leave you again, however much you ask me. Oh. They're digging up the graveyard. There's nothing sacred anymore. There's nothing sacred? Ten years ago, we saw ruffians kick down the door of Notre Dame. Nothing is sacred. Ten years? Has it been ten years? Mm -hmm. Well, I need to put plague victims somewhere. If that means digging up graveyards, yards, move aside few bones. If it's for greater good. Oh, look. Hmm? There. What? Well, but they've stopped. Oh, here's a man. He's crying. Well, what can you see? My eyes are not what they used to be. If, and they never were much. Two skeletons. Eh? They're crying off of two skeletons. <laughs> 
want normal, well, well, not. And the deformed skeleton is laying on top at normal. As if protecting like a, well, like a dog in its owner. Well, protecting from what? What's the skeleton protecting the other from? Well, everything, I suppose, sister. Everything. In The Hunchback of Notre Dame by Victor Hugo, dramatised by Alex Bulmer and Jack Thorne, Quasimodo was played by David Bauer, Esmeralda by Candice Nogard, followed by Kevin Doyle, Madame Poutine, Susan Twist, Madame Lafayette, Rita May, Phoebus, Joseph Klosker, Mikhail Le Duc, Roger Morledge, George, Gary Robson, and Guillaume, Terence Mann. It was directed by Polly Thomas and produced in association with Grey Eye Theatre Company. 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 Grey Eye.